Research has shown that if you're repeatedly exposed to the phrase, the body temperature of a chicken, that's right, the body temperature of a chicken, even if no useful information is given about the body temperature of a chicken, you are more likely to judge as true this statement. The body temperature of a chicken is 34 degrees Celsius. It's not, by the way, it's actually closer to 41. But this finding highlights an important aspect of our psychology that plays a huge role in how we see the world. The things we're exposed to repeatedly feel more true. Now, the way this seems to work is through a mechanism called cognitive ease. Cognitive ease is a measure of how hard your brain is working, from easy, like when you're scrolling through Facebook, to hard, like if you're trying to multiply 14 times 37 in your head. Things that are true generally elicit cognitive ease, like fire is hot, earth revolves around the sun, dogs have four legs, and so on. Not only do these things feel true, they also feel familiar, effortless, and they feel good. All of these are outcomes of cognitive ease. Now, the trouble arises because cognitive ease can be artificially created in other ways. One way is just by repeating the stimulus. In a classic experiment at two Michigan universities, experimenters took out ads in the school newspapers. Each ad consisted only of one of these nonsense words. Cardiga, Cerisic, Baiwani, Mansoma, Ekitaf. They were printed with different frequencies. One word appeared in the paper only once, while others appeared two, five, 10, or 25 times. The word frequencies were reversed at the other university. At the end of the experiment, researchers sent out questionnaires asking people to rate the meaning of each of these nonsense words on a scale from it means something good to it means something bad. And the findings were clear. The more frequently the word had appeared in the newspaper, the more people felt it meant something good. So with enough repetition, even a nonsense word comes to feel familiar. It triggers cognitive ease and overall feelings of goodness. Experiments have shown that this also works when showing English speakers Chinese characters or even random shapes. And the finding is even more general than that. Songs are judged more favorably after you've listened to them a bunch of times than on the first listening. And participants looking at yearbook photos judge the people in the photos as more likable after seeing that photo more times. Which that brings up the question, what are the Kardashians famous for? Depending on who you ask, you may find that they're famous for nothing or just famous for being famous, but really they are famous for exactly the same reason anyone is famous. And that's because you've heard their names and seen their faces over and over again. Now, they are familiar, you have experience with them in the past, and therefore they are processed with cognitive ease, which also feels good. This is at the core of the advertising industry. The idea that repeated often enough, even brown carbonated sugar water seems really appealing. But maybe it shouldn't be surprising that repeated stimuli are perceived more favorably. After all, our brains have evolved to identify threats. 